All right, this is one for the history books. Uh, classic Havertown story. Um, so this dude that we knew, he, you know, wanted one of our friends to watch his house while him and his parents went away. And, um, man, he let the wrong guy watch his house, man. So he gave, he gave the key to my, to one of my close homies and, um, we went over there and, you know, it, it was pretty innocent at first, you know, it, it started off as just, you know, we're going to go over there, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe drink his parents' alcohol or some shit like that, if there was any alcohol in the house, you know, and, and, and we had a crew with us, there was four of us, and, um, you know, we went over there, you know, we were hanging out, you know, partying, you know, doing our thing, it, it, it was... We were real young. We were probably like 14 years old when this happened. So it was like one of our first times drinking. I think it might have been my first time really ever drinking hard liquor. Um, you know, vodka and all that kind of shit. So um, we're over there and one of the kids that we were with starts puking, you know. Um, and he, he's, he gets sick and he's just passed out. And the guy who was given the key is like, yo, this dude's ruckus in the house. Like, what the fuck, dude? We got we to gotta get him up, man. We got to figure out, like, what we're going to do here. And um, dude starts puking all over the rug and shit. It was just a real, it was a real nasty scene. And um, dude, you know, the dude who was watching the house was freaking the fuck out and was like, yo, you got to get up, dude. You got to get up. So he pulled out his dick and started pissing on the guy's head. And I could just see the piss running down his face. <laughs> it was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. And me and the other guy who were there were just like, oh, man. We just went into the other room or whatever and just didn't know what to do, man. You know what I mean? It was so fucked up. <laughs> so then, um, you know, a couple hours goes by. And now everybody's fucked up. And everybody's fucking, you know what I mean? Like everybody's fucked up and, and you know. On the verge of getting sick, you know what I mean? So we say, fuck it, we go down to the Lanark Diner. My first time ever at the Lanark Diner. We go there and we hang out. And yeah, we get some food and shit like that. We're like young as shit in there, like drunk as shit. And then, um, you know, we go back to the house. And <laughs> the dude's still passed out in this puke and shit. And, uh, you know, it's probably now like 3 in the morning. And we start to see that the, the door is open and out front. <laughs> the door starts to open out front. We're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And we're looking around. We're, Holy shit. So <laughs> me and the dude who's watching that, one of our friends already split. He was out. And, uh, he, you know, he, he, he got out no problem. But me and the other dude who was, who was still conscious, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, we had to leave the one bull behind, man. And um, we ran out the back door as quick as we could. We looked at each other. Holy shit. We just started running. And we ran all the way to Bailey. And by the time we got to Bailey, uh, you know, the, the dude whose house it was, his parents had called, uh, you know, one of our parents or whatever, you know, like uh, my buddy who was watching the house. And, you know, he, his, his pops came down and caught us before we got home. But we almost got all the way home. Oh, man. And then I got a ride home. I got in trouble. Every, we all got in trouble except for the one guy who got away. And when he got away, man, it, it was like one of those... We were happy that he was, you know, able to not get caught. <laughs> but uh, it was a fucked up, it was a real fucked up scene, man. Like, don't ever let us watch your house. You know what I mean?